Update 1 on Cyclone Sibyl, which is located way off to the east over the central Indian Ocean at 16.0 south, 75.7 east as of 8pm Mauritius time on February 1st. It has winds of around 120 miles an hour and a pressure of 948 millibars, our best estimate at this time. No warnings are in effect for Mauritius, La Union or the island of Rodrigues and no warnings are expected to be initiated either. And here's why. You can see the storms expected to move towards the south on the far right hand side edge of the image there and then move away towards the southeast but since it's entered the Mauritius monitoring zone that we've set up here for our video updates uh, that's why we're doing one at this moment in time I'm sure everyone's aware of this storm's existence has been uh, the case for quite some time several days now but here it is category 3 120 miles an hour, an intense tropical cyclone according to Matteo France. It's a stage 6 on the CDPS scale, meaning that devastating damage is potentially um, on the cards, if there are any land areas in its way. Thankfully, there are not. This storm peaked as a category 4 yesterday and the day before and looked extremely good at one point. Uh, we were wondering whether it would become a category 5. Here's what the conditions in the Mauritius Islands look like. Um, you can see as we enter the weekend, sporadic rainfall, uh, especially over Rodrigues into Saturday and into Sunday, uh, but really nothing in relation to the storm will be affecting the area as we enter early next week when cloud cover and rainfall builds from the west, um, possible tropical disturbance uh, which will not develop um, as we enter next week. Uh, but you can see quite a lot of rainfall there on the extended range forecast which we'll be watching with interest. Sea surface temperatures in the area are around 27 or 28 degrees Celsius. They've clearly recovered since Cyclone Burkita last month and uh, they're ready for another storm to take advantage of again. Here's the wind shear graphic. Unfortunately, the satellite imagery in the background is not there. That's not our fault. Uh, the wind shear is fairly low. It's in a narrow corridor of favorable conditions, uh, but wind shear will take its toll on the storm and I expect upwelling from sea surface temperatures will do the same over the next two days and it looks to me as though that's already begun on the satellite imagery. Can't see much on this image here from the Himawari 8 satellite but here are some infrared views because of course it's just gone dark over the storm and you can see it's been moving slowly towards the south not much to be seen on that imagery either but here is the uh, RB top imagery you can see the eye has been in a state of disintegration for several hours and it looks like that state has almost been completed. Uh, maybe an eyewall replacement cycle of sorts occurring, uh, but the storm appears at this point to be weakening. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com still in development at this point. We expect to see more by the 15th. You'll also find us on YouTube if you're not there already. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, under the name Force13 all in text. Same on Facebook and you can also follow us on Twitter under our handle of the same name. You can also add me on Skype, Force13 is the name there and on Discord, Fool13 at extension 9094 for tropical weather chat. You can also follow our friends and partners Matteo, a Cyclone Maurice for more updates for Mauritius. <laughs>